Now, one of the challenges with all of this work from home is the tools really aren't up to snuff yet. And last week we talked about this thing called Zoom fatigue, where we're spending all day in Zoom meetings and we're getting exhausted. And we're going to talk a little bit about that with Doug Griffin, who's the Vice President of Partnerships and Strategy at Loom AI. Now, I'm actually coming to you right now from the Loom app, Loom Live, and I created this avatar of myself in the Loomi app on the iPhone. And so you should download the Loomi app, try it out. You can customize your avatar. You take a picture of your face um, and it brings you in. And then we'll talk a little bit with Doug about how this whole thing works right now. We had already built a product called Lumi, which is a mobile app. Uh, you can get it on uh, iOS and Android. And with that, you could take a photo of yourself. It creates a 3D avatar and you can customize it. And that's free. And, and we really built that as a demonstrator for our B2B kind of sales pipeline. So that when we talk to a company, we can show them some of this tech. What we're yep. watching with you right now is it's not actually integrated with the camera. It's purely integrated with the microphone. How does that work? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, we've got SDKs to drive avatars from video, voice, or chat, uh, text. And what you're looking at right now is purely from my voice. And, you know, if you look at the fundamental flaws with uh, video conferencing, there's, they come down to a handful of things. Uh, people want their privacy. Uh, not many people have the, um, the beautiful office you see in my background right now. And they don't want to show their home office on camera yeah, uh, when they're, you know, dirty laundry and <laughs> exactly. And the kid running behind them. Um, they're worried about their appearance. You know, millions of people right now want to get on video conference in their PJs. And so we allow them to do that. Um, generally speaking, if you're on a video call, your gaze is not directly at the camera. Really and therefore hard. yours is great right now. You're doing a, a fantastic job. And yeah. I, as a presenter, I do this for a living, right? I've been presenting live and on video for decades. And without a teleprompter, it's impossible to keep your gaze at the camera. I want to look yeah. at you. And, and it comes across. It's really hard to do. It is. And it causes a disconnect for the listener when you're looking at all these faces, and yet none of them are looking directly at you. It's hard to gauge whether they're actually paying attention to you or not. Yeah. And so we've addressed that. And then the last one's a little bit more esoteric, um, but as human beings, we've evolved to engage in the body language and facial gestures of people around us. And we generally are in either a single conversation or a group conversation. We're generally looking at one face at a time, mm. you know, and we turn to look at another face and another face, you know, with Zoom and Skype and all these amazing video conference tools that are out there suddenly we're looking at a lot of faces constantly and it's much harder to gauge some of the reactions. Um, you don't see the body language as much and it's very off putting for yeah. people. And there's a term, some people use, they call it zoom fatigue because zoom's so popular right now. And so what's happening is our brains are trying to process two, three, four, five, ten 10 times more information in a scene that we're actually wired to process. Is that kind of what's happening? Exactly. Yep. And so what I'm doing right now, I have a headset on and I'm actually pacing around. I'm walking. Uh, I could, I could take notes. I can lay back on my couch. You could be on the, on the toilet. I could be on the beach. <laughs> I'm not going to com comment whether that is true or not. That's awesome. Cause moment. oftentimes I do these long interviews and I'm drinking coffee. And at the end, I'm like, I really got to go. I'm busting for a pee. And yeah. So this is really, and, you know, this is really good for, for listeners. You know, a lot of these times you're on a call with a lot of people and you need to listen in, but you don't need to speak. It's a great way to take your eye off the monitor for a while. Maybe you can take some notes, maybe you can multitask, um, answer a few emails, that sort of thing.